So in the session we just attended here at the Economic Forum, I think there was a sense of relief actually in your frankness. Um, you brought up some issues that, that others are reluctant to bring up. That's my trouble. <laughs> Always. <laughs> All the religious groups are against me because I'm talking about population. They want more souls, I want less on the planet <laughs> For example, I'm picking on agriculture because it is the biggest land user and also biggest water user on the planet. The way we eat is ecologically disastrous. The way we dress is ecologically disastrous because the third largest polluter on the planet is textiles. Most people don't know this. So, everything that we do has become violent in the world, the very way we exist. In the beginning of twentieth century, we were just about 1.5 billion people. Today, we are 7.3 billion people. The United Nations making predictions that by 2050, we will be 9.7 billion people. 9.7 billion people or nearly 10 billion people on this planet is for sure going to be a disaster. I was in a conference and uh, I said, see, unless you… <laughs> unless you reduce the human footprint on the planet, there is no solution for anything. Then they asked me a brilliant question, how do you reduce the human footprint? I said, you have to reduce the number of feet. <laughs> That's the only way. <laughs> we can take it upon ourselves that we will not push the human population. You can have a dog. I am not saying children are bad, they are wonderful, but it's just too many. We as human beings, we are wonderful, but we are too many. We are so many that the insect population is going down. No, no, it's not a joke, it's very... It's very threatening, if the insect population disappears, the planet will be destroyed. Yes, the worms disappear, the planet will be destroyed. If you and me disappear, planet will flourish.